So the pencil roving is ready to splice. And what splicing is, is taking some of the pencil roving and pulling the ends. You're going to take your roving a, a width of your hand all the way to your chest or longer or shorter and you'll find out what length works for you as you start thigh spinning. So when you take your roving, you're going to start splicing it in sections and what splicing is, is unraveling and taking half and half and just slowly pulling that apart and that is splicing and you're going to get a nice little collection ready here I have it hanging up ready to thigh spin and both ends are spliced and ready to make warp Good morning. We are ready to do some thigh spinning. We have a um, sheet that's on the floor right here, and that helps with some dander that might be on the floor, or if you have a cat or a dog. I have a, a hand towel, and I'm sitting on a chair that has back support, and my feet are on the floor, and I'm watching my posture. And we, next to me, I have a bowl of warm water where I get the roving ready for thigh spinning. Speaking of kitty, can you hear my kitty meowing? So this roving has been spliced and is ready to thigh spin. Here's the roving. Half of the material has been taken during that splicing. And there's the other half of that side. And I'll start uneven so that the add-ons will be far apart. So one roving is going to be spun into the warp. My left hand is holding the roving. That's positioned right here. My right hand is what's going to go in this motion down my thigh. And what's going to happen, energy is going to be pushed with these two rovings and with so much energy, they'll twist into each other. So here we're set up and ready to go. I set them in a, a V shape, a little, a little far apart from each other and kind of gradually gets farther away. Right here is the closest that they're gonna be. And this is where energy is gonna be um, pinched and held. So these fingers are going to help assist. You see that energy happening and I let go. This is the very start of the Z twist spin. I'm going to pick that up. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to back spin and you see how tight it got. And then from this pinch to this pinch, I'm going to move down and re release it to that other left pinch. I'm going to open it a little, put the finger in, and hold that pinch. And there's that V. A little bit of water. And there's that spin. And back spin. Transfer. And the fun part is separating them. There's so much energy, they want to continue to spin. So there's that setup. There's that energy. I'm letting go. I'm holding, pinching. Transfer of energy. And then open a little. Put my finger in, pinch and hold, and spin. I'll grab it, exchange, open, and now we're ready 
to add on. On our warp, and this is where the splicing comes in. So half of this material and half of this material are going to make the same width and you give it a little spin and now they're both the same width. You're going to have little tails that you might have to trim or you can tuck them in and giving it a head start on that spin and I just lay it down. I create that V and this is where the spin, 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 let go and backspin. So that add-on is a little thicker. So what I like to do is I open it, open, and I'm creating that energy right there, making it tighter. I have this held, so the energy from here to here is get, making it smaller. Then I lay it down, and I'll kind of just massage that in a little. Give it a little pull and then a nice twist. Did you see it kind of thinned out a little? And then we spin, let go, back spin. So there's the add on right there. Then I'm going to transfer my left hand to my right hand, exchange, and open this up. Pull it open, put my finger in, and there's the tail of that add-on. So I'm just going to twirl it in there. The roving is still wet We're ready for another add-on. A couple of things to think about as your thigh is spinning is uh, your posture and your breathing. And beautiful thoughts and good thoughts always help. Um, here we're ready to do some more add-on of our splicing. And sometimes I'll just massage it if they kind of got a little out of hand. <laughs> I'll try to find a place looking. that feels consistent with the thickness that we're working with. You can see this part's a little bit thicker, so I'm going to pull this. I like that. That matches pretty good. So I'm giving it a, a head start. Some water. When you're adding on, it's just a little, just a little amount, um, and that just ensures that they're merging together. The pressure that I'm doing on my hand is very soft. You don't want to overwork your wrist. This. This is a different way of using your wrist, so it takes a while to get used to. So you want to be as gentle with your wrist as you can. See, I'm just kind of going like this. And it's just enough pressure to get these moving. See how that's rolling? That's what that's the goal is to get them rolling. 
And then when they're rolling together, all that energy makes them twist. I made these a little shorter so we can practice the add-on. I'm going to do some more. Bye. Another add-on. Find that consistency of the thickness. So we're ready to do another add-on. I just wanted to show you what this looks like as you're spinning those inches into yards. Um, you're going to have a little section that you're going to need to wrap around. And we'll do that at the end of this video. So here I just took those splicings and I added them to make them one. They're in the V shape. And there's that spin. Open that up. I'm wearing a pair of skirts right now. You could be, you could wear shorts or a dress or a skirt. And so as we're spinning, there's that energy. We release it. We backspin, and that backspin is setting the spin of the Z twist. And there it goes. We're ready to splice, but I wanted to show you what that looks like. And then, so here's the beautiful warp that we've been spinning. Isn't that gorgeous? We want to find the beginning. Uh, my bird fern thinks it's beautiful too. <laughs> um, and you're going to just gently Un unwind some of it and what I have here is a plastic top to a storage and I'm going to start it I'm going to wrap around it and right at the beginning I'm just going to give it a little little soft knot And then from there, it's still damp yet, so I'm going to wrap it around in a single layer side by side. And as I'm doing that, you'll see some of the twists. You're just going to lay it down. You're not going to pull too hard. You want it to lay nice side by side. And then that's how far we've gotten on this video. So I'll continue thigh spinning and adding. And as I'm making inches into yards, I'm going to wrap around this top. And then when we're done, you could either fill it up if you like or go an hour or two hours. But when you're ready to rest for the day of spinning, what you want to do is just um, fold it in like so. That way it, what you've left ready to work with will have um, a resting state. Happy thigh spinning!